Well, here we are again, making a little video on this PP100 2002 Chief Roadmaster. What I'm doing here is removing the oil pump, which could be quite a challenge with it on the bike or, you know, the engine on the frame because of this fitting here. Um, I talked to Frank over at Blackhawk. He said best way to get that pump is out is cutting um, this fitting here up on top with the hacksaw, Dremel, whatever you want. You could start it and then just break it off. I'm just going to go ahead and um, and um, cut it off completely with manually with the hacksaw blade. So I like that. I don't throw all kinds of sparks everywhere and debris with uh, with the Dremel. But this is working out. Pretty, pretty, pretty good, really good um, with the hacksaw. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, I've removed four of the bolts that can be pulled out. It has a total of six. Um, they are quarter inch by 20 coarse, I believe, uh, with the 316 Allen uh, socket cap that I've been... Um, using with my um, tools here. And the purpose of this removal is to send it to Frank so he could um, update it um, to the, because they, these pumps have an issue um, when um, it's, you know, it's a three stage functional pump. You know, you could read more on this on Frank's website, um, blackhawkmotorworks.com. Basically he explains that um, all the circulated air goes into the oil tank or oil bag where it creates aeration by mixing with the oil. The aerated oil is then pumped through the engine leading to loss of pressure. Lifter pump, top end noise, poor lubrication and high engine temperature temperatures. The oil uh, updated pump eliminates the external bypass line by sending oil directly into the engine gear case. The return scavenge pump can now pump significantly more oil, especially into the bottom end of the engine, resulting in better oiling. But like I said, you could um, get that more on um, Blackhawk Motor Works. He'll explain everything. And I'll try to show you on this bike the reason why i'm doing it and it is causing um some um lubrication issues up on, on the top end um on the rocker rollers arms and um the head guy that, that that's doing my heads i'm gonna pick up this camera so i could well let me see if i could do it over here These are the rollers that I took off on the top end. Let's see where we're at, okay. You see that scoring on that arm? See that? Well, that's not, that's from not getting proper lubrication up on the top, on the top end. All right, so how these, let me take this out. How these work, for you guys that kind of are not familiar with this. So this is a roller rocker, right, on the top end. The push rod pumps oil in through there, and then it shoots it out. Where am I at? It shoots it out through that little hole there. You see that? And it squirts it on top of the valve stem and there's roller rocker, so it's pushing the valve down, right? Pushing the valve down. But if you don't have enough lubrication there, that's gonna score up. And the uh, valves were more compromised than um, the actual ro uh, roller rocker arms. So that's why I decided to take this pump out and send it to Frank so he could update it and get it lubricating correctly because I don't like selling junk. 
And for those that have bought bikes off of me, I think they could uh, agree with that. So let's go and start this. So again, there's six bolts and you're gonna have to have patience when you're removing these because um, I'm gonna have to pick this up. Well, let me see. You can't see that fitting where I'm doing. Let's see if you guys can. Oh yeah, okay. So that's the fitting that needs to get cut off because you can't, you can't back it off because it's gonna hit the frame right here, okay? So as you can see, I've started cutting it, right? With the hacksaw blade, it's pretty damn easy. It goes pretty quick and just put a little bit of oil in the oil that's dripping out. You see down there in the bottom of my drip pan? Just start cutting here and I'm gonna finish it off with you guys and then we're gonna pull this pump out together. And see, I'm just hoping that this fitting back here down here doesn't give me an issue with hitting the frame here. But you cannot take this pump out, not unless you cut this fitting out. And don't worry about it by leaving that little piece in there. Frank will take it out and he, that's gonna get plugged. You won't use that anymore after he does his modifications. So let's get started. All right, let me finish cutting this and then. Where are we at? Is that good right there? Let's see. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna dip the, um, my blade in oil, get a little bit of lubrication, cut it off a little easier. And like I said, oh, I took off the um, the floor control, the floorboard and all that and make my life easier. I took the crash part out. Of course, you know, the oil lines, I put them back in the back and the, you'll have the clutch cable going through here, but I also took it off and I'm running it to the back. So just to make the job go a lot easier. And you could actually, you could actually um, start it and do it halfway, get a screwdriver, and then just break that fitting off. That's what Frank suggested to me, but I'm just gonna do things a little different here and maybe just cut it all the way since I'm almost there. There it goes, yeah. Boom, there she goes. All right, so. That's pretty much what you need to do is cut that fitting. And then I have my quarter inch um, 3 16 round head um, Allen or yeah, Allen. Just to make life a lot easier. It might get blurry there. So just let me just get that bolt. There, I already cracked them loose. So and let, this is where it comes back where I said you have to have patience, especially when you don't have a lift and you're working out for motorcycle jack. Just, you know, take a break. Don't get frustrated. Um, this actually works pretty damn good. I, I cracked it with the regular Allen wrench and then just, I'm getting this bolt here cause that's loose. And then this bolt down here. This is where this come in really in handy. This ball in here. See that? And these bolts you cannot remove completely because they hit the frame. There we go. That's off and the top one's off. That should be it. Cause I got that bolt off, this one, the one I just did, this top one here, and the top one that. So let's let's check this out. Let's see what happens. There we go. All right. Where luck. Let's see here. I think, I think, oh, 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 oh. there we go, come on baby, there we go, hell yeah, let's see, hold on, let me get my camera, all right, let's see, so there you go, the other two bolts that you can't get out or pull out, just with a little bit of wiggling, 
Look at that beauty. These actually are state of the art for the time, you know, at 2002, 2003, compared to a Harley pump. These are like completely way better engineered than the other company. So yeah, I'll send this to Frank. And um, there's that fitting, the cut fitting. All right, just like I said, you gotta have patience, man. Let's see what it looks like up inside. There you go, there's that cam, all right. There's a gasket that's left there. So, yeah, there you go. Just like my other videos, Merry Christmas, and uh, hopefully 2022 brings us some pretty good um, things in our life. So, I'll talk to you guys soon on my next video. I'm thinking of doing a runoff test on this bike um, to check the runoff on the pinion. So stay tuned.